Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarifil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah we are still this, uh, discussing on chapter 4 on holistic human behavior and the laws of learning and today I'm going to talk about how reinforcement and uh, feedback affects our schooling system. Why we have for example schools that are not performing and why schools are performing because through the laws of learning and conditioning we know that if we have good reinforcement and good feedback we'd be able to improve the educational system uh, using this concept of uh, conditioning and through operant and uh, uh, classical conditioning through the laws of learning we would be able to improve it tremendously so i'm going to be read to you this sub uh, title here okay on schedule of reinforcement and feedback if a young child is being taught to identify letters of the alphabet for example the best schedule of reinforcement is to use it's always best to start with continuous reinforcement so that the behavior uh, to be conditioned will be influenced as quickly as possible after the behavior is stabilized on continuous reinforcement the next appropriate schedule is determined by many factors for example if simply being told the letters on the card had been correctly named as an effective re reinforcing stimulus the schedule could remain on continuous reinforcement this is because this is because all learning to be successful must be followed by feedback as to the result of the response there can never be too much feedback during the process of gaining knowledge if the feedback as a result of the response can also be served by reinforcing stimulus then it can remain on a continuous schedule basis forever but this does not mean that feedback is usually provided on a continuous basis in educational setting that means in schools because the class is so big there are 40 45 children there's absolutely not possible for all the teachers to give continuous feedback for individual learners and that's why uh, we must into go into cluster learning and small classes and so on which uh, are constrained by the financial constraint of uh, many countries in the world especially developing countries eh? so the next paragraph however the amount of feedback is usually very limited in school so in schools very limited if there is any feedback and normally the feedback is very uh, negative that is based on punishment eh? that means uh, because the teacher cannot give attention to good behavior they only give attention to bad behavior and some people use this as a way to get uh, the attention of the teacher by playing prank uh, making jokes uh, doing some destructive behavior so that they can get the attention of the teacher because even if you do well there's no attention given to them so there's no reinforcement and feedback in terms of the positive response huh? most educational institu institutions are not organized in a way which allow continuous feedback of learning behavior the effect of not having continuous feedback available during school learning situation is that there is is that results that is much less learning taking place then it occurs given a large amount of time spent in school so a lot of students spend uh, six to eight hours a day and even more but then the amount of learning is so minimal so a lot of the time is being wasted and uh, the whole effectiveness of schooling itself can become into question that's why there are many many approaches to uh, school systems that we have to develop in the 21st century yeah schools since they do not provide continuous and immediate feedback as as to the progress of learning are extremely inefficient school the school system is very in, inefficient if learning behavior was reinforced more efficiently 10 times as much could easily be learned in a more efficient school environment so if you want to have accelerated learning we can do that provided there is continuous positive feedback and continuous positive reinforcement eh? perhaps a hundred times much more even in effectiveness can be accomplished eh? so there are a lot of situations where they have done the experiment where the teaching and learning with continuous feedback and continuous reinforcement has resulted in tremendous learning in a very short period of time therefore it is as it is an understatement to say that schools must be terribly inefficient at present so all school systems all over the world they are terribly inefficient at present because in the future schools will be so different than today's school we will not even recognize them as school so there are many approaches in terms of uh, as i say hybrid learning cluster learning online support system homeschooling uh, mentoring coaching mentoring and so on so there are many approaches uh, which there will be major changes soon within the present school setting but the most significant change will be uh, take time longer time to come because basically uh, as i say the resources and the fixed mindset of the educationists themselves 
is inhibiting any change towards a uh, accelerated or fast learning. Eh? Understandably, the broad application of the loss of learning is one of the major changes coming soon. Other major changes will be in what the school teach and in the role of children. So, what are the children of the students in school? Eh? That's also changing. The subjects presently dominating school curricula will be less prominent and children will be able to take a much more active role in everyday aspects of their schooling. Once these changes take place, children will be very attractive to school and be highly motivated to learn. And of course, traditional educators will find the potential benefits of due, this new educational model both threatening and hard to believe. So because they are trained in a traditional method, this new approach to schooling, which are being experimented, especially in Scandinavian, Scandinavian countries like Finland, Denmark, uh, and certain parts of uh, the Western world, there are many, many models now that we can use. Uh, we have integrated learning with online, offline, and so on. They will soon they will soon relearn and become more enthusiastic themselves as they see that there is no threat. The result will the result will prove the benefits and the children will surpass the ideals of the traditionalists in every area, social, behavioral and academic. It will take a while until everyone is satisfied, but that time will come. Even then, there will be further changes. Education must progress towards perfection also. In these circumstances, a perfect school may look like the beautiful physical universe. So this is one aspect in which we are discussing in terms of reinforcement and feedback and how schedule eh, affects them. This is very, very clear. That's why uh, if when we go into small cluster learning where there are about eight to ten people, the teachers can have interaction with them. So the teachers act more as mentor and giving positive feedback all the time. Uh, continuously coaching and mentoring them, not forcing down their throat knowledge, so-called knowledge by rote learning. And this is the model that inshallah we are trying to do. We have our school, Khalifa Model Primary School and Khalifa Model Secondary School, our Tafi system, integrated system. And inshallah, we would try to develop it within the Muslim world and show this as a model. That's why we call our school Khalifa Model Primary School. That is where we, they learn integrated knowledge of all the uh, natural uh, subjects like languages. Uh, they also learn the Quran, they also learn how to memorize, all using techniques which are based on the latest technology of education and also the integration of positive reinforcement and feedback. Inshallah, we can change the whole system and create a model within Islam using positive Islamic psychology or Islamic psychology model as a holistic transformation of human behavior towards the love of learning, and towards peace, happiness and success in this world and hereafter undertaking our role to seek knowledge all the time to be as we have mentioned that Allah has ordained us to be his sincere servant as his caliph on this earth always striving to make ourselves good helping others to be good making the world good inshallah in the way of goodness Amen.